Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here, bringing you a, a little video on basically a 2v5 from Shox and Zewu. Now, this round was played in the final of IEM Winter and basically I just wanted to run you through this one quickly because it's a very, very good round from Shox and Zewu and it is one that turns the game around. As you can see, 11-8, NIP had actually managed to win the first half, Vitality is slowly bringing it back. Uh, and if we actually look here, it's a pretty important round because if NOP lose this, they have no money. And this is basically the map Dunzo. This is the first map of the series. So it's very important for the momentum going into the rest of the series. And I just want to take you through the round piece by piece. Now, we're actually starting off from Kyojin's point of view because I think the first intelligent decision that Vitality make in this round... You may think, hey, let's just group up as three and hit one of the bomb sites. The problem is, is I think that that still gives them a pretty low percentage chance of winning the round. And so what they instead decide to do is they instead basically decide to send Kyojin in for some information on B, see if he can get some sort of a pick. Uh, and if not, what Kyojin is going to do is he's going to hold the rotation. So as we can see, he just dies. But what we go to now is we go to Shox and Zewu, essentially working the other side of the map. Now, they're going to decide to go up short A here. A little bit of time to see if they catch any rotations, anyone peeking for information. Look at the low time on the clock, by the way. It's a good entry here from Shox. And then we're going to see Zewu get a nice entry onto the site here. Now, I think NIP's probably biggest mistake here was playing far too passively and giving too much respect to Vitality. I think they were essentially trying to run to play the clock down. But the problem is, is that both Rez and Fuzi kind of hide and leave Hampus in the pit out to dry. Shox is going to go down in mini pit here. Or pit, can't remember where he was. But now this is a pretty simple clutch for Zewu. Again, I'm not sure why Nip didn't consider the fact that he might be in apartments here. Plosky was kind of running around in the middle of the site. Essa tag. They weren't very coordinated there. But as you can see, Zewu finishes the clutch off nicely. Um, just a quick video there, really, guys, to show you a nice 2v5 there from Shox and Zewu. Just to kind of summarize exactly what I think it was that kind of won them that round. One, sending... Kyojin in at B to hold rotations, play for a little bit of info. Um, and then it was just some really nice coordinated play from Shox and Zewu. They clearly made the decision about exactly what they were going to do. They're like, we're going to go up short A, we're going to try and get the bomb down, and we're going to try and play the clutch from there. It meant that they were on the exact same page. And then some issues from NIP there. I think they played too passively on that A hold. They kind of left each other all out to dry and all ended up taking one on two slash one on one jewels. Um, and then on the retake, again, I think Essetag and Propski were a little bit disconnected. I think they needed to make sure that they were clearing all the same angles kind of together. And they didn't. They got a little bit disconnected. Essetag went straight from the bomb before they've really kind of cleared everything out. Not the best decision, but a great clutch from Shox and Zewu. And this was one that essentially secured this Inferno for Team Vitality.